the ihsan is the, if you look at the ahadiths, the primary ahadiths are those four ahadiths. And the first one you get always is the hadith known as hadith Jibreel. That hadith where Jibreel has kept Prophet Muhammad sallallahu in the form of a man and he asked him several questions and then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was giving the answer to the Jibreel so that we hear all those answers. So that was how Jibreel and Muhammad sallallahu was were, were teaching us uh, about our Islam. One of the main questions was that he to really asked Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and what is ihsan in the first place? Tell me about ihsan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied to him, saying, "Al ihsan an ta'budu Allah, an ta'budu Rabbaka ka'annaka tarah. Fa in lam takun tarah, fa inna yaraka." It is that you worship your Lord as you see Him, as you are right in front of Him. Because if you cannot see Him, He can see you. He is the one who is seeing you and watching you. So then, consider yourself all the time that you are in front of Allah. That is one the general meaning of Ihsan. So in order to Worship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is observing you. It's always 24-7 surveillance upon you. Then, means make all your deeds and good actions based on Ihsan. But then, we need to understand the definition of Ihsan. Let us define, before we describe and discuss about Ihsan, let us first we give the definition. The definition of the word Ihsan, uh, it is very hard to get it in English because it combines a lot of meanings and it is more richer than any word that uh, you try to translate into uh, English. If you try to translate that word of Ihsan from Arabic to English, then you, you are getting confusion because two or three words are not sufficient to give it this meaning. So now I collected almost a lot, close to 10 words or terminologies to give me the meaning of Ihsa. It is first saying love, adoration, affection, active empathy, patience, compassion, gratitude, appreciation, and giving full respect. That you give to, first of all, all of them you give them into one. You, you bring them together, and they become a son, and then you give to, the, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to the people. So what shows that this meaning? That first of all, a son is that is something that you are doing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one part of the Ihsan, the first part is going to Allah. The second part is going to his creatures, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. Starting from human being, animal, trees, nature, all of them, you give them all of that. Of love, adoration, affection, convention, respect all of them, including the sun, the earth, you respect them. And starting from the human being. So always, this sun you give like 100% to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say like another 50% you give to your parents, your, uh, the people who are close to you, your brothers and sisters in Islam, then you give to other mankind. Then you give it to the animal, anything that has a life. All the living creatures that you give to them, and it goes like that. And the evidence is from another hadith that Prophet Muhammad says, 
the first before I go to the hadith, let me go to ayah of the Quran, which shows you that uh, it is ihsan is from Allah and is going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always it's you who's giving ihsan. You are giving to Allah, you are giving to the mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the case of being a birbul walidain, you are day means to be to be nice and good to your parents. In that case Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقَبَارَكُكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوهُ إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَفِي وَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah is saying, first of all, وَقَبَارَكُكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوهُ إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ Allah has mandated upon you that you worship nothing and nobody other than Him, other than Allah, your Lord, the one who created you. When you give all the worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you respect your parents, give ihsan to them. So there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing you that first of all, everything is to Allah. All good things you are doing is to Allah. Then you give to, to the mankind that you sat in from your parents. And then Allah is saying, so then you go to the adults, to people who are, say, the poor and humble people, and you give to, uh, to those who are close to you, you give those who are uh, strangers and those who are like newcomers. Uh, you give it to anyone who is uh, like uh, in a journey, who is in a tree, who is uh, strange to the area, those who have been affected by the calamity, those who are in debt, those who are in trouble, you give them a son. So that son, which you are giving to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then giving to all mankind, it is what? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is giving us again another definition which is the same as the previous one but further details. This in further details Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says al says al-ihsan bi'atun wa sab'un shara ihsan is seven and several branches so seven and several branches are they're giving you the sun. The sun is divided in all those. So it has categories. But then those categories, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us those categories and says, A'lamu la ilaha illallah. The highest one, the first category is that you witness that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa so Allah alone is the Allah, the Creator, and there's no uh, other God. Be something alive or something dead or a uh, storm, whatever it is. So when Allah, so the Prophet Muhammad give us this definition that it has, it can, it is divided into seven and several branches, and the highest branch is to witness the oneness of Allah, the Almighty. Then, the lowest one. And the lowest of the, those seven and seven, seven, around seven and something branches, the lowest one is that you remove something harmful from the street. You are just walking in the public street and you got something harmful from there. Be it dirty, be it um, something can, that can injure people, then you remove it from the, that location because it is public place where people are walking on it. Or it is something that if cars uh, were driven there, they may uh, cut their wheels or something can happen and give them control. So then you remove it. And nobody asked me to do that. You are not getting paid. It is not, 
you, you are not from the uh, municipality. And you are not even waiting any respect from the neighbors. And you know that, you, you will probably know that you will not use this road again. It's only today you are crossing there, but you are cleaning it. Why are you doing all that? Because you got a son to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the first place. So when you get a son to Allah, then you have to obey Allah. And then you are expecting reward from Allah. So you're getting paid by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you because he's giving you rewards. And he will give you something even better than that. Before before you are you die, you may get and something which is more valuable than what you did. So the two are connected to each other. Giving Ahsan to Allah and giving Ahsan to the people are connected to each other by following the meaning of that verse and following the meaning of all those happenings. When you look at all those, then you see that the fundamental of Islam, Ahsan, is the center of Islam. Then all we need is to understand the meaning of the Asan and act upon it. What all those who are the words that I have said love, affection, adoration, convention, respect, all of them, what they can make? They can make two important meanings, which are honor and help, help and honor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your help, but you help yourself, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you. And you help others, then Allah is helping you. That is, you honor people, you respect them, you help them. It doesn't matter whether you even love this person or not, but you love the Allah who created you. If you hate someone, just because he is maybe from another tribe, from another race, and so on and so on. That means you hate Allah when you create him. Because your aim goes to that, you say, God, why did you create this one? Because I don't like him. But who are you to say that? God created you and created him equally. That is, so you need to share with others but what is called, uh, what is the Ihsan, the meaning of Ihsan. You share that with the rest of the mankind and you first give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshiping Him, by following the, His commandments and staying away from His division. According to the other was the Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. My dear, respectful brothers and sisters, in order to be pure Muslims, we need to look at all our actions, our words, and our thinking even to look at them, whether they are in line with the Ihsan or not. And the Ihsan, we define it as the collection of several words that I want to give one more time, which are to give to, the, to mankind, to all creatures, love, adoration, affection, active empathy, patience, compassion, uh, gratitude, appreciation, and full respect. When you give all that to someone, for them all those meanings requires that you give to that person, you give to that person to make the, what is the value or the nature of help and honoring and praying for them uh, with respect. And when you do all that, all of it goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because any good thing that you are doing, you are doing for yourself. Look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran. In ahsantum, ahsantum wa anfusikum. in asatum, falaha. If you do good things, ahsantum is ihsan. 
means if you do it son, you are doing it for yourself. In Ahsan too. If you do anything good of the Ahsan or nice things, Ahsan to the Anfusiku, you are doing that for yourself. So you are not doing it for others, even though you are helping someone, you are helping yourself. That is the meaning of Ihsan, um, which is described in the Quran. You can see it from those hadiths which I mentioned. And how is that? You can base all of them with the verbs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning in the case of the Qarun. The Qarun, Qarun, that man who was very well and he believed in that because his wealth, he got it uh, out of his knowledge, out of his uh, power, and he said, I'm a powerful man, I'm a knowledgeable person, so I deserve to get all that. Umar Uti, he said, I was doing all of them because of my knowledge, because of my power. So I deserve all of them. Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he is answering to that man, through our people who were saying to him, Wala ahsan nasibaka min al-dunya wa ahsan kama ahsan Allah ilayk wala tukhil fasad fil ard They said, Wala ahsan nasibaka min al-dunya First of all, they said, you should not be proud of all of those things that you are, which is only material and it can be vanished soon, but Wala ahsan nasibaka min al-dunya You have to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not forget your nasibaka, your portion, or your lucky in the world. The portion of your wealth that you can get in the world, do not forget that. Means do not be obsessed all the time sitting for worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when you are working for yourself, that is also another worship way of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So do not forget that portion of the world too. And they add the, the the ayah says next, وَأَحْسِنْ كَمَا أَحْسَنَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكَ And make good as Allah made good for you. Then the word Ihsan, you see, it is always um, that you do good things for the sake of Allah, and you worship Allah, and you do good to all mankind, irrespective of their color or their origin and so on and so on then you do that Islam, and in that case, you are the one who is successful. That is how Islam is making us real human beings who are successful in this world and hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the right path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the opportunity and the luck that we understand this deen, this kitab of Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us those who really understand the meaning of the sentence and the words of the Quran.